Hey guys, what up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and in this tutorial video, I'll be teaching you guys how to do the Playdate TikTok video that I've been highly requested recently from this guy here. So this is the tutorial. Now before I dive even more about the tutorial, uh, if you're new to this channel, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel as I do tutorial videos just for Vegas Pro. Now anyway, uh, the Playdate uh, TikTok video here is a video that you do for your girlfriends or boyfriend, whoever the person is. And um, I actually have no clue or about the TikTok trend, so I watched some several Playdate video, and they are pretty um, easy to make, and most of the video in vertical ratios. Um, so obviously you want to use the Playdate um, music here, which the music by Timmy Tran. Um, I'm not sure what the music really call is, but I just googled the TikTok song. So you just want to drag it on the timeline. Now I'm not gonna play this music as it have it's basically a copyright music. But you got the point here is that the video usually cut on every single beat. So I legit listen to this music so that I know where to cut or where to add marker as my reference point. So before I add some any marker, like I said just now that the video often um, render in vertical ratio. So I'm just going to click this gear icon to launch the project properties and select the Instagram story template that I've made. What you basically do is just uh, flip the value between width and the height and then press apply. So you have vertical ratio here. And then you want to basically import your video. So I'm just going to insert another video track here on top and import all of the video that you have. Nope, I don't want. And let's just delete the audio from the video because I don't want any audio from that video. Right, so um, like I said, the these played it uh, video here uh, often cut on every single beat so I'm just gonna add a marker on every single beat here so I know where the beat starts it's on every single waveform you, you can pretty much tell that every single time the waveform expands that's where the beats uh, happen I'm pretty sure this is like the melody sound here in the middle if I'm not mistaken but anyway let's just assume this is the beat so you can start cutting out the video. So let's start off with this video here. Let's just assume this is your girlfriend. This is not my girlfriend, by the way. It's my friend. I don't have any girlfriends, sadly. Let's cut this spot here. Um, then you can continue to the next video. Let's just use this one. Uh, let, let's just do it two video for now, okay? You know what to do next, all right? So, um, pretty obvious, it doesn't fulfill the entire frame, so what you want to do is to click the pan and crop, go to the very first keyframe of the video, and all you have to do is just right click and press match output expert ratio and it'll automatically do it for you. Right, so as the video play, you know sometimes your camera move around, you can actually just animate it if you want. You position it, put the keyframe a bit to the end so that it will follow along the subject. There you go. We have something similar like what you see in a TikTok video. Let's do for the second one. As you can see, the person not in the center, you just reposition it, center it up, and you're pretty much done. So obviously the TikTok video involves of slow motion. So it's recommended to shoot a higher frame rate, which I did this video on 60 frames. So I'm just gonna insert velocity and do some speed ramp. So this video here look nice when it play back at normal speed. So I'm just gonna ramp out in the end. I'm just gonna mute the music so I don't get the copyright. There you go, something, maybe the... Now here one more tip, press Alt and then click to move around to shift the video position so now I know the uh, left side tells the input the right side tells the output of the video so the video ends at this part there you go much better and let's insert another velocity for this one 
This one I want to make it slow motion and speed ramp in the bit so it's like there you go slow mo maybe you can add a bit ramp over here you know just a tiny bit uh, 50% and ramp out so now let's just see the music playing in the background and we have some basic pleated kind of look video here all right so now in for in terms of color the plated video that I've watched often have some purple uh, kind of cast on the video so you just go to the color color corrector which is this one here now I'm just gonna add on the layer instead of on the video so it'll affect everything in the layer all right and I'm just gonna add the purple highlight here so that will only affect the highlight section now this video uh, shot in flat profile so it doesn't have any um, how do I say this contrast so if you shot this on your phone you don't have to do this thing but I shot this on phone so I mean on the camera with flat profile so I don't have any um, contrast in the video there you go and, uh, and then the video has some glow look so you're gonna add a glow now I already have my own custom glow again I'm gonna add it on the layer and the settings I have here is the glow percent is 0.2 the intensity at 0.4 and the suppression at 0.1 and then finally you want to add the effect glint so let's add the sparkle one you can see there's a lot of stuff going on you can decrease the amount of trestle and the boost now this is more like a personal preference I like to put my streak at only one and the orientation at 90 degree which is horizontal because I like my glint to have a horizontal look and you can have the saturation all the way up or you, you can just put it down if you want to and let's just play around with this setting here a bit and yeah you're pretty much done with the play date video here with Vegas Pro, super simple. Now you can add more effect if you want to be more creative, don't get you know constrained or limited. You can just play around. I'm just gonna play around the color corrector, maybe add some blue shadows here. You know, be creative, don't get scared to play with the settings. I think this look even better. So I hope you guys learned something today and if you have any question related you can just leave it down in the comment section and I'll try my best to help you guys out. So see you guys next time.